Good morning. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Dean Jones and I'm here and it's my pleasure to show you another Rex Rover that we have in that's available. It's a 23 F250 chassis Rex Rover. It was a demo in the, you know, kind of the process of showing these at shows and showing them to dealers. It's got 12,170 miles on it. Um, it's a good opportunity if cost is a factor in getting into one of these expedition trucks. It's a great company called 27 North out of Missouri. We partnered with, we carry their Venture Vans, their Rex Rovers. They have an Ascender, they have a bunch of products. You should check them out online. Uh, but we'll just get right, right to it. Uh, the stock number on this guy is 5N231580 for reference. My name is Dean Jones. You can call me or text me any questions, 720-347-7063. You can email me questions as well at dean.jones at transwest.com. So we'll just go ahead and start at the front of the vehicle. We do have a 10,000 pound worn winch remote from the inside. A nice trail ridge bumper with rigid lights. There's four lights in the bumper. We also have rigid lights here at the, the hood and six lights up top in the cab. You'll notice the texture on the hood of this guy. This is called adventure skin. It looks a lot like a truck liner. Truck liner is rubber based. This is Kevlar base. This whole coating around this whole vehicle only adds 110 pounds to the weight of this vehicle. It's in a nice two-tone package. They did a really good job aesthetically on that. And again, it is a 250, F250. The other two that we had were on F350 crew cabs. This is an F250 extended cab, or super cab they call them. This one isn't really designed to tow much. It'll tow 3,000 pounds. This one's not outfitted with the trailer package. So if you're gonna tow a little boat or something like that, this not, might not be your rig. It can be upfitted with a, with a tow package, but it's gonna be under 3,000 pounds. So you have to tow a pretty small boat. But this has been outfitted with Rhino wheels, Falcon tires. Those are 35, 12 and a half R18s. They have nice Weston rock guard step guard, or step, step, side steps with the rock guards on them. Uh, you'll notice this is a super cab, so it's gonna have the suicide door in the back, plenty of seating. We also have, while we're over here, we've got a pass-through right there, you can kind of see. And both seats do come down. And they also come up for storage right there. 27 North does embroider these seats. Very nice aesthetic there. And again, full Lariat package, we'll get into that on the other side. I did go ahead and put out the awning, and I'll put it back in. But you notice, plenty of shade out here, out the, out the door here. To go ahead and put it back away, the reverse of putting it down. Secure these little legs. Snap them in. Right in the door, we have a button. We're just gonna go ahead and put that out. It's good to have your door shut with this. The reason I wanted to show it in is, if you look at the side of the molding of this cab, it's recessed in there. So what's nice about that is if you're in the forest, you got branches kind of coming down the side of this, you don't have an awning on the outside of the, the cab getting ready to get ripped off. So they were really smart to put that inside a nice little cubby up there for you. You'll notice the windows on this, dual pane, polycarbonate, real light windows that louver out. I'll show you those inside. We do have a nice light for here and some doorway lighting. Right here we have our outdoor entertainment center, a little LG TV, little speaker on it. It is 12 volt. Great for watching that 
football game when you're tailgating. Another thing I'll show you while we're here, we have a pneumatic step. You might hear a little air compressor under there. That's gonna put those stairs in and out. Very Jetsons or Star Wars like. And come around the back here, we do have some storage here. One thing to point out in this storage, nice vinyl matting here, keep everything where it's supposed to be. Great space, but you also have the fiberglass inside of the booth that you'll see. It's not a plywood that's gonna get wet, expand, rot over time. This is gonna serve you really well in the in I just wanted to give a, a shot of that because you can't really see it from the inside, but that's what your booth's made out of. Real strong. Weather the test of time. Coming back here, we have 27 North's been nice enough to give you a storage box with a freezer on a slide tray. Nice Dometic. Get a shot of it over here for extra storage of extra food in there. Yeah. Tucks away real nice. You can take that stuff out and put a generator if you'd like in there as well. They have incorporated all the sensors for the Ford F-250 in the bumper here. Nice Rex Rover CNC aesthetic right there. And a full-size spare on the back of this coach. There's that big window in the back of the booth. Another one of those polycarbonate windows. And they have incorporated the actual Ford lighting from the original chassis into the body. Kind of keeps that Ford aesthetic. They also have kept all the cameras and sensors on this guy for all your um, driver safety features. They even took the bed camera and put it inside the coach. It's really cool how they did that. Over here, we have a little bit more of the brains of the operation. Xantrex inverter, your solar charger. You also have a little monitor here to kind of tell you how that, all that stuff's working. I have this cord out because this is a smart cord. It's got a really beefy end and it doesn't, it's, it's designed so it won't pull out or fray. This cord should last you the life of the coach. And that goes right here. That's your shore power in there for that smart cord. We do have a diesel Truma combi. It's gonna heat your water and your coach. I had a guy I sold a Rex Rover to lives way up in the mountains at 10,200 10, feet. He brought it up last week and he slept in it. And it was 11 degrees outside and 72 inside. So works good at high altitude. We also have a nice ladder going up here and I'm gonna get a shot. I'm gonna pan over to a shot of the roof. What you're gonna see up there is a 12 volt Dometic. AC up there and two 300 watt panels. In between that, you can see a little bathroom vent, but in front of there, you're gonna see, I don't know if you can see the hatch, but it was taken picture from a hatch. So you can actually open the hatch in your sleeper here and go up there, check this, check the cleansiness of your panels or how everything's looking up there or stargaze if you'd like. We also have our depth and our diesel fuel and they kind of move that diesel fuel down because they were getting feedback that everyone has these diesel fuels way up high on their coach. So 27 North actually brought it down a little bit, put this nice riveted panel in there to keep it nice and clean and keep that off the, keep your diesel and your def off your, your coating over here. Everything locks as you see, and we do have a water fill here. And this is a locking cap, so you can lock it twice. No one's gonna mess with your drinking water. Speaking of water, we have a nice wet bay here. We do have a five gallon cassette toilet. It's dump, you dump that anywhere. You don't have to find a dump station for this guy. 6,000 gallon water filtration unit. Here's, here's your uh, filter. But if you get a shot in here, you'll see you have two water pumps. If one fails, you got a backup. And we've got manifolds. And why these manifolds are nice is you can, say your truma is leaking, but you still want to run the coach. Um, you turn that off and and you also have extra, extra places to put lines if you're gonna add stuff to the coach. Uh, you do have a, a, a quick connect shower. I don't have the attachment in here, but to take a shower. Water pump and a 110 outlet and a 12 volt outlet. 
quick connect here on your filter. This is where you could access the water system to winterize it. And all these doors have locking mechanisms on them. So coming around to the chassis, we'll spend some time on this one. We did it last time. It's just a really nice chassis. We've got all the driver features. If you know anything about, yeah. So we'll come around and get a shot of this from the other side. So again, we've got these nice heated and cooled seats. This nice big screen. This is a 75th anniversary Lariat F250. It is a four wheel drive coach and it runs on a six, seven power stroke. Uh, very, a lot of power. You're not gonna struggle going up the hills. We do have an integrated trailer brake, even though we don't have a trailer package on this one. But again, a, tope, a trailer hitch could be put on here. Not too bad. We have great storage in our console. These seats are super comfortable. You have a total digital dash here. All your controls for your phone, your, your cruise control, your audio, it's all right here. We have camera angles. We've got traction control. Really nice Bang & Olsen system. When you're driving down the road in this, you're just gonna feel like you're in a Cadillac. That's kind of different than most you know, expedition trucks or smaller motor homes. They're kind of rigid and they're, you might have power windows, you might have cruise control, but this one's just gonna give you all the luxury of the Lariat package. So that's, a, I, th I really like what they do there. But I don't know, over here, I don't know if you can get a look at this. I'm gonna turn these on and we'll go take a look at them. We've got some lighting buttons right here where the, the rigid lights I showed you on the bumper and up here on the hood, this is where you access those switches. So we'll go ahead and turn this off. We'll go see the best part of this Rex Rover and that'll be the inside. All right, I'll, I'll turn those on so you can see them on. The top six are gonna be a switch by the door. I'll go ahead and turn those on right now. You can see just how much light they give you at 27 North. You know, look up there, you see all those lights just shining. So if you're in that backwoods, you wanna get deep in the backwoods in the dark, you're not gonna have any problem seeing. So these are your fog lights. So those will come on with your the fog light button. Go ahead and turn these lights off up here. So as you come in the Rex Rover, a couple things to notice. Again, this is your pneumatic switch for your steps. Showed you that earlier. We have a nice little trash can here. Nice insulated door with a grab handle on the inside. He said that he put it on the inside so it wouldn't get all dirty when you're out mudding and stuff like that. So good place for that. You're also gonna notice that we have a little washer combo here. Let me get a shot in there. It's a real shallow tub. But it was just an option they, they thought they would put in here. We also have a counter extender here. And I do have this kind of tore apart. So I can show you the power center under here. So under you, this is a booth. I'll, I'll put it back together in a minute. It's also a bed, I'll demonstrate that. But we have three 200 or 300 amp hour batteries in here. All your wiring done real nice and clean, corralled in with the wood. And if you ever need to get to it, you can just pop these little brackets out marine grade plywood. And when this is down, that's the floor of your, your booth. So 
Coming in here, we'll make the bed. I'll demonstrate that. If you get a look over here, but we have these little 80-20 screws in guys here. And they sit nice and snug in this these little guys here. So I'll just get the cushions all set up. Back behind these backs, you have plywood in there, that same marine grade plywood. And our cushion right here. So in just that little bit of time, we've got a second sleeper in this. And this, this whole unit's about 25 foot and change with the, the winch bumper and all that. Um, but you do have a measurement on this bed. Comes in at 83 long and 52 wide for those of you that are interested in the bed measurement. So, Real durable vinyl on these cushions. I'm just gonna pop these out. Oops, like that. Snap these back in a little spot. Again, this is the, the fiberglass that I showed you on the outside. If you kick it, it's not gonna hurt it. It's just not gonna deteriorate with water, you know, use. It's a really strong setup. Love what they're doing with this guy. If you come over here, I'll kind of show you what's going on in the back here. There's that 12 volt Dometic AC that we saw up top. It's a really low draw. It's gonna cool this off real nicely. Uh, they use a recycled matting inside here. I've actually been in one of these without the heater on, on a 40 degree day and it was room temperature in here without having anything on. So it really retains the heat real well. Um, if you do tear it up, they can always cut you another panel at 27 North and bring it out. Here's those, those windows. What's nice about these windows, they're kind of dual function. They got a little area here where it'll open it up about a quarter of an inch and just get some, just some fresh air coming through here. You got two settings on that. You've also just pop them open and it'll hold it up and now you've got all the area and light you could ever need. Put those together. And we also have our shade. If you want to open them up and keep the bugs from coming in, that works as your shade or a kind of a semi-private shade. So when these are all up around there, it's really hard to see them with these tinted windows. But if you really want blackout and privacy, you can always pull those down. And that's on every window in the coach. Over here we have a other little TV with the bow sound bar. Here's your inverter. This is where you turn your inverter on. This is where you would turn your Truma diesel heater and hot water right here. So you got the coach temperature and the water temperature. Truma's been a great system. Again, one of my customers kept 72 degrees in here on an 11 degree night up at 10,000 feet. So we're pretty impressed by that. Again, we've got our, another thing I really, really like about 27 North. These are aluminum cabinetry, marine grade plywood in here, but they also have the marine grade locks. So when this is shut, it's shut. You got some storage up there. They're toying with, you know, opening them this way and this way. They're, they listen to their customers and they, they make adjustments accordingly. As you see, this one goes up. We do have some backlighting up here. Great hardware, just great construction on these. 
And great headroom. I'm underneath a, I'm 6'1, I'm underneath a AC and I'm standing on the battery deck. So nice hidden hinges. So we come back, you'll see it. Uh, when you don't opt for the washer and dryer, the microwave can be put over there and you can get a 12 volt longer fridge that opens from either side. This one opens from one side, kind of the booth side. Uh, a little smaller, but it's option for option. So if you want the washer and dryer on that side over there, you can do that, or just the washer. There's your little microwave. There's some storage up here. And storage comes, you know. Our videos will take as much storage as you'll give them. Right here, you'll see the back side of the Truma. This is your heater and water heater. You'll see that little vent there, and again, keeps it real nice and warm. While I'm over here, I'll show you the, the galley side. These come with a one burner induction cooktop portable. We have them inside so they don't walk on us. I should have brought it out, but um, just know that there's a and we have 55 gallons of fresh water and 42 20 gallon gray water tanks on the outside. If you can get a shot of this guy, but that's the back side of your uh, washer. A little bit of room and a fire extinguisher there for you. Nice deep stainless steel sink, the residential faucet. This is a I don't know if this is normal on all of them, but this is a water valve for drinking water. And if you get a look at this, you'll see these are universal plug-ins. I mean, for just about any country, you could take this to. Um, you can plug in American plugs, European plugs, really nice there. You also have a water pump feature there and a 12 volt there. This is solid surface countertop. It's got a drink, I mean, a water edge here. so. If you do get a little messy, it'll kind of retain the water without running and messing up the face of your cabinets. But if they did come down and these are just aluminum, they'll wipe right up, powder coated. You have a nice little rack here, some magnetic things here. You can strap stuff, notes, nice bulletin board there. And we've got more storage right here. So this, is our hanging closet. Uh, from now on, they're putting a safe with the, a dummy panel. You open up the panel and there's a safe right there. This one didn't get that, but you do get a nice little drawer there. And plenty of hanging space. And you get more storage up here. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the, while you're over there, the booth table. It's a real dynamic booth setup. I got that one. There we go. Can you hand me that uh, leg right there behind you? Should have put that in first. This just goes in here, and you've got a table. Marine grade plywood there, and what's nice about this is if I'm a little if I like to work on my laptop, this is adjustable too. So it's a little uphill there. If I want to work a little bit further away, you can do that. You can slide this over if I like it a little closer to me. So real dynamic boot setup, real simple. But again, marine grade plywood, so it's going to last. One of my favorite parts of what they do at 27 North, it, these wet baths. Usually in these guys, you see these little white, just one piece wet bass in a closet behind two doors. You might get a mirror on the door or something to that effect. This is just, not only is it functional, it's just really nice to look at in here. This is a special type of draining floor with the, with the horizontal drain. There's really no angle this can be at where it's gonna pull up anywhere the way they have this designed. Really nice cast, all this is one piece. You do have your Thetford cassette toilet. We do have a pie, some power, water pump, and light feature. You can open this guy here. 
and you have a nice little sink. I'll get, I'll get out of the way and let you take a look at that. So I think I'll switch your places here and show you the kind of the brains of the whole operation. This is the MBD uh, coach management system. Uh, you can turn the whole lights on and off. You can go back to your, your uh, battery levels, uh, your tank levels, You've got a time on there. And that's all powered by this nice big brain here. So while we're in here, we do have two shutoffs here for this guy. All your 110 breakers here. And then if this were to go out and you still needed to get power to stuff, you have analog switches right here, little embossed labels there. Uh, here's your 12 volt fuses. They're, not only are they labeled, but they also have a light in them. So if the step power fuse were to pop for some reason, uh, you'll see a little red light right there. I'll know you just, that's what you need to go ahead and replace. So love the wire, love the way they, they wire and they plumb these things. It's almost artistic. We've got a little more storage up there. They also have a nice little hidden louvered screen right there. We have our little rocker switches all the way down the side here. This is your awning function. You can turn it on and off here, your awning light. Um, these are the six search lights on the front cap that I turned on for you earlier, um, your entrance lamp. And this is gonna power that pneumatic step. Here we have the fifth camera that is the bed camera that would show you the cargo in the truck before they made it a motorhome. And they've actually incorporated it in here. If you forgot, if you left your thermos over here and you're in the truck, you can just hit that thing. Oh yeah, it's back there, go grab it. Uh, but yeah, nice little, you know, see what your dogs are doing back here, that kind of thing, right from the dash screen. And then we have our little ladder here. Stores ways up here. You also can put bags or coats or what have you on this guy underneath your ladder. But this is one of the better parts of what makes this different. So your expedition truck, very rarely are you gonna be able to sit in it like upright. Again, I'm 6'1". And you also, you can open this up and like I said, poke out here. This is where we took that picture earlier of that top roof part. Now, one thing about a Rex Rover, another thing that sets it apart, what I'm sitting in is a one piece cast uh, carbon fiber shell with that Kevlar coating on it. There's not a seam going down here like most of the other expedition trucks. There's just nowhere to have leaks up here because this is a one piece shell. Um, we have another TV over here for entertainment up here. And I was gonna give you a measurement on this bed because it's absolute monstrous. 79 this way, and it actually is a little bit bigger here. 86 this way, just tons and tons of storage. Now it's a little, it's kind of a smaller mat, but really nice vinyl. It's gonna wear the, you know, I have my shoes up here and it's not hurting it at all. Uh, you know, they've talked about people putting, you know, feather beds, that kind of thing in here. Um, over here we do have, some more power outlets at those universal ones and a light you can see up if you turn you can see right above the tv there a little accent lighting up here if you want a little light up here to get crawl up and down in the middle of the night this tucks away real nicely so this is a three tv unit and again day and night privacy shades on this but what's also nice is when you're up here in the morning, if it's a little stuffy up here, you can pop these windows open, get a lot of cross breeze in this little area here. See, I could feel the breeze coming through here now. It's nice. So, yeah, very unique expedition truck, the Rex Rover. We're really proud to be a dealer for 27 North. I'll come down and, uh, Again, this one is a demo, so it's never been lived in or camped in or owned by a, a specific you know, private party. It was what 27 North kind of went out there and showed the world what this was about. Uh, it does have 12,000 miles on it. Um, it's not the 350 
crew cab, so their chassis cost is a little less. Um, if you want to talk numbers on something like this, this is a great opportunity to get into one of these, probably for the least amount that we'll ever have another one again because of, they're new from here on out and they're built a little bit on bigger chassis and stuff. So again, if you have any questions about that, um, you can text me at 720-347-7063 or email me anything you have on this and I'll ha be happy to you know, answer anything you need. So thanks for coming and checking out this guy with me today and we'll see you next Wednesday.